This is David Sig with OffGridLiving.com and the most important thing to take away from this lesson is heating accounts for almost one-third of your energy consumption. Therefore, it pays to have some method of producing heat that is free or near free. So after the last lesson you might be saying to yourself, hey, that's great, if I have money to design a passive solar house, but what if I live in an apartment? Well then, this lesson is for you. Here's the truth. Solar heating can be as simple or as complex as you want it to be. But getting a simple passive solar heating, enough to heat one or more rooms, can be done in an afternoon. I'm not joking. I'm going to show you a way by the end of this video that if you have a window which gets good sun during the day, you can heat up a room real quick. This technique is especially good if you have an emergency power outage in the middle of the winter, in which case it can save your life. First, there are two kinds of solar heating systems, active and passive. The difference between the two, other than technical details, is one is going to cost you money to install and the other is free. I'm going to talk about the free kind. I want to talk about an off-grid life hack that can save you big bucks or even your life. It's not as pretty as some solutions, but believe me, it works like gangbusters under the right conditions. Once again, this is a very simple solution. So simple, it is easy to underestimate the amount of solar heat you can get from such devices. Use care and caution. You are literally playing with fire. Here is a simple window convection heater first published in Sunshine for Dollars by Stephen Harris, that you can make for 25 cents. Remember convection from the last lesson? It is when heat moves air or gas. To generate optimum heat, you're going to need south or west facing windows, but any window where there is sun shining through it will do. 3 mil black plastic and a curtain rod over the window. Here's what you're going to do. Simply hang the black plastic over the curtain rod so that it covers the length of the window. That's really about all there is to it. Here's what's going to happen next. The sun's heat will enter the window, heating up the black plastic. The colder air of the room will enter through the bottom of the plastic. The hotter air will exit back into the room through the top. Simple, easy, economical. And it works. It works better than you think. Try it. Even with some black garbage bags, you'll be surprised. This exercise is a small sample to get you to understand what can be done. Simply, easily, cost effectively. Every situation is going to be different. However, think about this for a moment. If you live in a colder part of the country or a climate and you're having to pay $500 to $1,000 a month for heating, and you could heat a few rooms of your house during the day using this simple, painless technique. How much money would you save? Let's also keep in mind by now, you should have air sealed your home so that you can keep that heat in even longer. Now then, let's take a look at a simple way to amplify the heat using this unit. In other words, let's step it up a notch or two. The reflector is made of cardboard with aluminum foil glued down with Elmer's glue. When I tried this, the sun hid behind the clouds for four days. This reflector quickly got my air temperatures above 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And these were hazy days. I think this could easily have gotten over 100 in February sunshine in Iowa. Do not add more than one reflector to your unit. When it gets warmer and the sun gets stronger, multiple reflectors will actually get the plastic so hot it will literally go poof and up in flames. One reflector with a regular aluminum foil is more than enough. I like my house in the 70 degree Fahrenheit range and on these days during half the year this little solar air heater will gently add warmth that my furnace or wood stove doesn't have to add. It does it all by itself. I don't have to turn it on and this project can be done in 10 minutes and I can take it down and put it up in seconds. Also, this project can also be done by anyone in an apartment 
as well. I'll see you in the next video.